Hello. Today I would like to show off my latest puzzle creation, my new mini 6x6x8. Now this is made with the new mini cubing classroom uh, 8x8, and uh, I guess I'll just go straight into a size comparison. This is quite a small puzzle for what it is. Here it is next to a Gogon Yuxiao 3x3. And as you can see, it's not that much wider, nor is it that much taller. So just line these up up here. So yeah, quite a small puzzle and it fits really well in the hands. Now I was initially concerned that the pieces, the extensions I was gluing on would not stick that well since it's so small, but they stick just as well as my other puzzles and there's uh, not that big of a risk of them popping off in normal use. Another quick size comparison I guess here is my 5x5x3. Five by five by uh, whoops. And this is just made out of the Shengxiao Linglong 5x5, so another mini puzzle. And this is just a little bit taller than the 5x3x3 by by, five by five by is wide. So, so yeah, considerably smaller than if I had used the Shengxiao 8x8 or Yushin 8x8, which is what I was originally doing. Now the color scheme is uh, just a standard color scheme except cream is substituting yellow, mint substituting green, and fuchsia substituting red as per customer request. Just a quick checkerboard I guess. Whoops. A little awkward behind the camera. So yeah, colors look really nice. These are cut by Chewy Stickers, as with all my puzzles, and they always turn out really nice. So yeah. I did that wrong. And then on the side. So yeah. Um, this puzzle, the base puzzle at least, turns really well. The original Cuban Classroom made by it's turned well, and those characteristics transfer over when I glue the extensions on. So in terms of corner cutting, this puzzle can easily cut one piece. It will not cut that much more than that, and I wouldn't suggest it because what I noticed is that the mini 8x8 and 9x9 by Cuban Classroom are pretty prone to popping compared to other ones. So I, this is on tighter settings than I would normally use, just because of that popping issue. That way that, that ensures that nasty lockups and pops are minimal. In terms of reverse, it can do a little bit, not too much. Most of the liars pretty much have to be aligned, but if they're not, it'll, it'll just glide right through. In terms of if all layers are shifted, it can cut through that too. So yeah, I guess just a couple algorithms, T-perm. I wouldn't generally consider speed solving this, but it can be done with care. Uh, how about some cuboid algorithms? Uh, let's see if I remember any of them. That's the uh, edge swap. this one. Whoops. So yeah, uh, it turns pretty nice and of course it can shape shift. Since the pieces are so small, the extensions are actually pretty minimal, as you can see. Uh, let me just isolate a piece, actually. Uh, how do I do this? Uh, I think I go like this. There we go. So yeah, this is the little extension that sticks out. It's pretty small, which means it's not super prone to just breaking off. Uh, let's put the piece back. That was not how you do that. Goodness gracious. 
Okay, that goes there, and this goes here, up. Okay, there we go. Back to soft. And I think the only thing left to do is to scramble it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first scramble it like a regular. Uh, sorry, not. I'm just going to scramble it without shape shifting it. That way I can get a full scramble first. And seeing that, I don't quite remember if I remember how to solve this puzzle. I might have to take it apart before I ship it off to my customer and reassemble it. But I think I can probably figure this one out. I'm just going to get a decent scramble in. I'm not going to solve this puzzle in this video, simply because that's going to take too long and I don't even remember if I know how to solve it. That's a pretty decent scramble there. Actually, just gonna take a minute to see if I can get a photo of this. Just so I can uh, put it on my shop page. There we go. Uh, now I'm gonna begin scrambling it in all directions. This is when the puzzle really turns into a mess. Taking a little bit more care to make sure everything's lined up just because I can't really see if they're all lined up since the pieces are so small. Maybe a little bit further. And even with it like this, even if the layers aren't completely lined up, if you just uh, let's see, wiggle it a little bit, it will eventually go back into place. Oh, whoops, okay, not quite that much. So yeah, I'd say that's a pretty good scramble, and I'd say I have at least a good half hour to an hour to solve this before I can ship it out to my customer. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this puzzle will be up on my Etsy page. Right now, I'm pretty busy with applications, which means my Etsy page is down until, I'd say, mid-January 2019. That's when I'll begin selling puzzles again. But until then, I'm really busy with work, uh, schoolwork, and studies. So I can't, I gotta allocate all my time to that. But until then, this will be, uh, this video will be up, and my Etsy page will essentially be view only. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.